Welcome back. So YouTube uses CG145. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. They asked if I could like, pair a Bluetooth mouse or keyboard um, because they want to do some coding on it. But I don't actually have any Bluetooth um, like peripherals besides like earphones and like audio stuff. So uh, because this is Android, I could also just use an OTG adapter like this little Samsung adapter that came with my um, Note 8 so first off, I'm going to try the mouse so I will just um, get the thing out here plug that into the adapter and switch this on on then just plug it in. Okay. Oh yeah, we don't get a mouse. Well, let's see if I can just mouse right into the corner and click the home button. Nope. Doesn't seem to be working with the mouse. Maybe I'll just try plugging it the other way. Yeah, uh, normally with Android, you actually do get a mouse pointer. It's not really working. See, if I plug the mouse in my tablet, I can actually use the mouse, but then Evernote decides to reload the node for some reason. Just... See? Yeah, so you can actually see the mouse there. So I can actually use that. And because I can drag. And I believe the right click on here is. Yeah, but the assignments of the middle and right buttons are dependent on um, the version of Android you're using. Usually it's the manufacturer skins that implement those that functionality. But usually the left click is always um, the primary click. I don't think there's a way to change that in Android settings. Yeah, you can only change the pointer speed, not the um, configuration of the mouse buttons. Well, at least not in 6.0, which is what this tablet and that e-reader uh, both run, although with uh, different manufacturer skins. But as I was saying, we'll try plugging a keyboard and see if that works. not responding to caps lock yeah it is not responding to input um, it seems that it's probably just completely does not support um, OTG yeah it is not working nothing's happening What gives? Now, if you're wondering why I can't actually show... I mean, if you're wondering about the camera movements, that's actually because my Evernote account um, contains a lot of um, sensitive information, basically. So I can't show any of that on camera. Well, accept the notes for this um, series of videos. And of course, my tablet, the keyboard works just fine, as you can see. And of course, see, the caps lock does, does, light, does light up. And I believe the um, yeah, numpad functionality works the same as in uh, Windows, where these um, secondary functions do, uh, at the bottom of the keys, do work when the num lock is turned off. And when you turn it on, there is the upper functions. Now, uh, of course, there is a way to connect Bluetooth, um, but again, I don't really have um, much in the way of, um, yeah, so I only really have like Bluetooth audio devices, not really like a mouse and keyboard. Uh, 
Okay, yeah. It actually identifies itself as RK3368 for the default Bluetooth name. So I believe this custom software is probably built on like the um like the AOSP image provided by Rockchip for this um SOC. The um yeah. So yeah, it does yeah, the um Rockchip 3368. In trying to find a way to enable the OTG support, in uh, case it's actually um, there but disabled, I found out that uh, you can actually get into the Android stock recovery by holding power and volume down, which is this button. And so, while you're in recovery, the red light lights up as though it is trying to start up, which is interesting. And there isn't really much here except the way that the controls are set up so any button select uh, cycles through the options and then actually yeah okay no 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 it's actually uh, similar to the um, stock android recovery so if I can just try and so actually the um, normal way of using the volume buttons to select and the power button I mean to, uh, to move the selection and press the power button to select it, uh, it does also work. Yeah. So there are four recovery logs, so I'm guessing that was um, like uh, during the factory test and stuff. Uh, yeah, there's volume down and I can just press that to go back. And then it takes a while for the screen to update. Then I can actually press power. Whatever I press power off, shutting down. Let's see if it actually goes back to the power off screen. The light went out, but it just says shutting down. So I think I know why it, uh, when you turn it off, it appears to shut off instantly. It's actually because the, um, they actually just have that static power off screen as the Android shutdown animation. So, um, if there is a way to root um, Android on the Rockship 3368, uh, there might be a way to actually change the power off graphic just by changing the shutdown animation, which I'm pretty sure is packaged the same as an Android boot animation, except that there is just the one image. So yeah, it could be possible to actually change the shutdown image if it's rooted. So now if I hold on the button and I try to turn it on. Yeah, okay, so yeah, it does still start up like normal. So that's interesting the way it's um, implemented. Now, as you, I can prove to you that the mouse support is still there. Because you do have this option for pointer speed. Now... Uh, another thing to note is that there's this Chinese thing. I believe this is Google Pinion input, but there is no way to disable that if you do not speak Chinese whatsoever. So that's one thing to note. It'll probably only really be a problem if you try to enable Google Play services and it tries to auto-update that though. So yeah. Anyways, I hope that's it for this video. Uh, bye.